this is the first of three moves or rapids I'm going to have a look at and the aim is to cut diagonally into that eddy on river left beyond the diagonal trees. There's the eddy under the red arrow and the downstream pointing V goes into some quite big waves and the problem is cutting through the left wall of those and into the eddy. It needs a commitment to the diagonal, a commitment to speed and a bit of knowledge here in, in advance. There is a rock hidden under that swirly water, not immediately obvious from upstream. There was no need of a crossbow red or crossbow cut to tighten the turn up. I could control all of the turn on the, the amount of edge I gave the boat. <laughs> you did that well. Yeah, and it's hard to know where that rock is, but yeah. you actually were very positive. Yeah. Good angle on the boat from Rose, so cut across that diagonal. I do have been a little bit quicker, but she's made up for it by that cross deck forward stroke, which has kept her in the bottom of the eddy. Nice move. This is our second move and eddy, and it finishes here in quite a, a narrow eddy. I'm going to use check and set to get into this one at the end of the run. But here we go. I've already inspected this corner and I have to swing a little wide to get out past some rocks but then make a very very quick move to the left above a small island. There's the rocks, here's the move past the island, straighten it up because it's a narrow run with a lot of rock around. Here it comes, beginning to check the speed, cross deck, just bleeding the speed off the boat. You can now see the target eddy, here's the bush creating it, and now I keep my paddle on the outside of the move, drive the stern into the eddy. Rose is stood there so she can catch me if need be, because the water flows out, not far past my bow. Rose is very accurate in the lineup. But those cross deck backwaters now she's trying to get in actually straighten up the boat and it really proves the point keep the paddle on the outside of the move when you're really moving to the eddy and there you go julie saw the error she stayed with her paddle on the outside <laughs> chuffed to bits so here we go with the third moves come rapid and on this one, I'm going to have a little bit of fun. So the obvious line is down to the left and go straight through. But I'm going to have a play. I'm going to drop the nose in behind this rock. That will turn it upstream. And then I can ferry over to the eddy on the other side. There's the eddy pulling me round. I have a bit of indecisiveness on the paddle. But what the heck ferry across to the small eddy now I have to pull out above a rock the main thing is to get the majority of the boat past it if the back end clips it's not a big deal here we go there's the rock and we just slide past there are the other two and I'll head on down to the bottom to wait for them. So I'm leapfrogging our way down the river. You notice when I don't need speed, I'm just very gentle. And then there comes a point where I need to go through a gap. That was a little bit of a piece of the rock, not a problem. can't really look around to see where the others are, there's too much rock here and I need to keep my attention forward. But now I'm getting to the end of it, I'm going to head the river right, the eddy there, 
and that gives me the best view back up round the bend to where the others are coming down. A lot of fun. And a thank you to Rose and to Julie for a great company on the river. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please comment or press the like button and of course you can subscribe. My own book, Canoeing, is available directly from myself or from Amazon and other retailers. You can support the channel, if you'd like, by going to buymeacoffee.com. The link is also in the description below this video. Thank you very much indeed.